असलम एंड हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज मराज कामरान एंड यू आर वॉचिंग एक्सप्लोर केमिस्ट्री सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट एक्सप्रेक्शन ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू मेटलर्जी सो टूडे वी विल सी हाउ एल्यूमिनियम इज एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रॉम इट्स ओर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द एल्यूमिनियम ओर विच इज यूज फॉर दिस पर्पज इज बॉक्साइड एक्चुअली एल्यूमिनियम इज द मोस्ट अबंडेंट एलिमेंट इन अर्थ क्रस्ट एंड बॉक्साइड इज द मोस्ट यूजफुल ओर ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम विच कैन बी यूज फॉर एक्सपेक्टिंग एल्यूमिनियम वर्ल्ड वाइड सो इन दिस प्रोसेस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बॉक्साइड ओर इज प्यूरिफाइड बाय बायर्स प्रोसेस एंड इट विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू एल्यूमिनियम ऑक्साइड विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज एल्यूमिना एंड दिस एल्यूमिना इज स्मेल्टेड बाय एलेक्ट्रोलिस एंड इट विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू प्योर एल्यूमिनियम हाउ इट विल बी डन लेट सी so first we'll discuss about byers process byers process is actually refining process of the ore so in this process ox uh, bauxite ore is reacted with sodium hydroxide solution and it will give sodium tetrahydroxy aluminate you can see the formula over here and after after cooling this sodium tetrahydroxy aluminate will produce aluminium hydroxide crystals and in rotary kiln tower this aluminium hydroxide crystals will be converted into white powder of aluminium oxide which is also known as alumina now this aluminium oxide will be treated in electrolytic cell and the process is known as electrolysis of alumina This process is carried out in a steel tank which is coated with graphite and this graphite coating is connected with negative terminal of the battery so it can be used as cathode so it is a steel tank and this one is graphite cathode anode is also made up of graphite it is a carbon a carbon form and it is made up of graphite rods and these rods are hanging in molten electrolyte solution these rods are connected with the positive terminal of the battery so they will act as anode now electrolyte solution is containing aluminum oxide alumina it is mixed with another ore of aluminum which is known as creolite formula is nacalf6 actually alumina melting point is very high to lower its melting point creolite is mixed with it so creolite is basically used to lower the melting point of main alumina ore so what will happen in this electrolytic tank we will see over here electrolyte is charged in it anode and cathode ba uh, anode and cathodes are connected with the battery now when the battery will start working alumina al2o3 is an ionic compound it consists of ions positive and negative ions and in liquid state these ions are free to move when negative charges will flow on at cathode and positive charges will flow at anode aluminum positively charged ion will move towards cathode and over there it will gain electrons because it is having positive charge and cathode is having negative charge so it will be attracted towards cathode and there it will gain electrons and convert into aluminum atom the process is known as reduction because it is loss of gain of electron so gain of electron is always reduction at cathode reduction will take place aluminum ion will reduce to aluminum atom now this aluminum atom will form in molten state and due to high density it will flow at the bottom of the tank and from one outlet it can be taken out oxide ion will move towards anode and at anode it will lose electron 
an oxide negatively charged ion will convert into neutral oxygen gas so at anode oxygen gas will produce this reaction is oxidation reaction so we can say oxi oxide ions will oxidize to oxygen gas because this is loss of electron now this oxygen gas which is forming at anode it will react with carbon anodes as you know these anode bars are made up of graphite and graphite is one of the forms of carbon so it will react with carbon and will convert into carbon dioxide which will evolve from here so due to this reaction formation of carbon dioxide carbon anode bars will disappear slowly and has to be replaced with new bars so this was the whole process in which aluminium molten pure aluminium is forming and carbon dioxide is releasing now from this electrolysis we can get pure aluminium which is a very useful metal it can be used in different fields for example 626% of aluminium is used in construction and buildings 36% of aluminium is used in transport many train bodies and car bodies are made up of aluminium because it is light weight metal 14% of aluminium is used in engineering in construction of different uh, substances and 17% of aluminium is used in packaging and 7% aluminium is used in other substances like cooking utensils like electric wires because aluminium is a very useful metal so hopefully you understood everything you understood each and every point of this electrolysis process and how aluminium is extracted in the industry if you understood everything please like my video and subscribe my channel for more interesting videos thank you allah hafiz